Hi everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create a dice, uh, and in the process you are going to learn how to use uh, uh, unwrap UVW map modifier and add a in add an image map and modify the image map uh, to create an object like this. So to create dice like this, uh, what we will do is first reset our scene. I will not save it. Uh, from the standard primitives, uh, we will go to extended primitives. And uh, in the extended primitives, uh, there is a chamfer box. We'll use a cube and click and drag. And then once you release, you drag inside again and you get a chamfer box. Now, if you're new to creating uh, extended primitives and if you click and drag and then uh, you don't drag again, and then you don't get the chamfer. So if you go to modify panel, you can then add the fillet and then you can add the chamfer later on as well. Okay. So even here, you can further modify the chamfer how much you need, but a dice will have a rather sharper edge, so it lands nicely. <coughs> but at the same time, it has some uh, softness to it, uh, just so that it looks cool. Okay. So what you will need is an image map uh, that you can wrap around this object uh, to get the look of a dice. So we'll go to a, a browser and then type dies texture map. And if you go to images, you will see there are many options to choose from. I chose this one. Okay, so you can save this image, right click save image as uh, and then we will use that image in uh, 3ds max so again you will have to go to the material editor so either you can hit the m key on the keyboard or you can go to rendering material editor and we are using compact material editor uh, sorry we are using uh, rendering material editor slate material editor okay so again, we'll drag a standard material, assign the material to the box, and then we will click on the diffuse map, general bitmap, and then assign our image to the map. And again, the image is not visible. So if you right click and say show material in viewport, that material will become visible. I'll make the viewport big and now we will add unwrap UVW map unwrap UVW modif modifier and now you can see how the image is wrapped around this object so we need each of these to be on these faces okay so to do that, first step is to open our UV editor. Okay. And in our UV editor, I made it a little big by dragging the corners here. And then I can zoom in and out here with the middle mouse button. And then from here, we are going to select our image and th these are all the faces correspond these are the UVs of the faces corresponding to the faces of the dice okay so first thing what we will do is we will place all these faces in the white area okay so I'll zoom all of this in and when it is big enough you can simply move it here 
so that the entire cube gets that gray color okay <clears throat> now if you open unwrap uvw map here or if you click on this mm -hmm. face and select one of the faces that corresponding face is here uh, if i click and drag you can see the other uh, points uh, other faces getting dragged with it so I will right click and release it so that it goes back and by mistake if you do it you just undo it control Z is to undo so we need to separate this so you will have to go to mapping uh, I sorry tools and then you have to break it okay when you break it now you can drag the individual one and then we can place it on this number you can see when I move this uh, face that corresponding image is visible in the viewport so I'll start with one number it, any face can be on any number and just make it small enough so it fits within this and then you can get that uh, texture map onto that face similarly you just follow the same steps for all the other ones you select it there's the break tool here as well in explode so if you break it and then move it you get another one then we'll move on to the next one so this one again break it and move it and scale it okay we'll move on to the next one break it move it go to the next one break it move it and the last one break it and move it Okay, so this will that will take care of that. You just have to now select each one of these and manipulate it so that you're you're not going past the red area, um, but you are getting a good image there okay same thing we can do with this it's real quick position these vertices in the right place and then you can view it in your viewport to see how it looks there's not enough space after the design because you don't want to go and get a white area in there so you got to be little careful and it doesn't have to be perfect but don't spend too much time trying to align everything time is precious so don't waste your time trying to perfect this thing because a few pixels here and there will not matter much Okay, and then this one will go here, the last one. And then the rest of the mesh can be one color. All right. Now, if, if you leave it to white, it may look like it is incomplete. Okay, so you can change, you can modify the image in Photoshop. I'll deselect the edge faces. Oh, it was off actually. Hide the grid, and then you can see how your dice looks. Now, if you render this one, okay, let me make it thick so you can see. Okay, so this is your dice. And then if you go to material editor by hitting the M key, you can drag the same one to the bump value. And if you double click, go to maps, 
the bump value is 30 and then we have assigned that image to it and then if you render it you can see that you get some depth to your uh, dies and then it looks more realistic so if you can make it 100 you'll get more depth to your uh, dies okay this uh, uh, bump map will depend on what what bump map actually is is a backend white image of what you have so uh, if you are in photoshop you can even select all this what i will do is bef before selecting it i'll control 8 copy it file new control v it <coughs> and we will actually make a black and white image so i'll select this and go to edit fill and white color and then file save as make it a jpeg and we will name it dies alpha because it's a black and white image okay also what you can do is control a and control c to copy it and then go to file new again and control v it so you can see in the color of this one that white looks incomplete so yellow is not there you can use yellow color edit fill color yellow color and then you can select this area where we have put all our other mesh and give it some color as well so edit fill color then we'll add a light yellow color or if you want some other color let us try a light blue color okay and then you save this file as jpeg file or a png doesn't matter and i'll name it dice dice new whatever name you want to give doesn't matter we'll come back here and now if you simply deselect this maps and then bring in a new diffuse new map you don't have to unwrap it again because it is all done just we have new colors in place actually i had the blue one right so let us deselect this and bring in the blue one okay where is that yellow color here it is and then we also have a different bump map so you drag in general bitmap and then we use the alpha and what that will do is it's better to select and then when you render it maps what is the amount again 30 we will make it 100 and then you get better results with uh, a black and white image because if you have a color image then it will take the gray value of this color instead of white so if it is black and white then you get a uh, better depth let us see if you change that amount to 500 okay uh, it will start uh, taking more detail from your uh, image and create it so 
it's better not to go above 100 and then not to add too many values so maybe 200 is not bad and that's about it you get your dice with using unwrap UVW maps so this is a simple assignment to understand the basics of how texture mapping is done once you have a complex object like a 3d character it may take much longer uh, but you will be having complete control over how you add color to your character uh, keep watching my other videos to learn different uh, techniques of 3d modeling animation texture mapping and rendering i also cover tutorials in blender and other free software so you can learn uh, the same concepts if you don't have access to uh, major 3d programs thank you